Welcome back to the channel and g'day and thanks for joining us. Um, today we're looking at painting those BTR 60s. At the back I've got two that are primed already and two at the front I haven't got the primer on so we'll prime the two at the front. We'll swap them over and I'll put the colour that we're going to use as the base colour onto the vehicles onto the back too. So the normal primer, Chaos Black, is what I use for a lot of my models and that's what I'm using today. So it's just a nozzle spray paint. I'll just move that to the two at the back out of the way and move that one up there and i just go around and i base them on something so these are just based on bottle tops the others are just on a ruler and then i'll just work my way around just give them a bit of a coat try and get everywhere i try not to go too thick um, like most of my other models I've done, just get a coat of primer on them and then let that dry and come back if it needs that second coat. Oh, the turret fell out. Now I haven't blue tacked the turrets in on these guys, and that's because the where the turret rotates around 360 degrees it doesn't come outside that arc that it's on so um you can still blue tack them but i just i just didn't I, i'm just showing that you can do it without adding blue tack to it which is um what i've done for most of the other like the labs and stuff like that i've put blue tack on them this time i haven't so if you don't you don't have blue tack for whatever reason um, you can you can still um, prime them and paint them so that's some guys done that's that primer and I'll bring the other two into the shot They're the two I painted yesterday so that primers had a day to dry and the color I'm going to use is light sand and I find light sand's really good for some of that Iraqi army stuff. Stuff you can. I've given it. I've given it a shake. There's that colour again. TS forty six light sand. And this is the same, about 15 centimetres, 10, 10 to 15 centimetres away from the vehicles. And then I just start applying it across both. And I want to do some weathered infield looking vehicles. So um, if the bit of black shows through, that's fine like there's too much at the moment but I want to give them that real used in the field look some of the Iraqi army equipment was really really uh, used heavily and run down so I mean it still worked but man they gave it a hard time so just get that, that coat on Oh, sorry, knock the camera. That's handy. So I get that coat on. I get them looking like that. So a good spray of paint. So I'm happy with them. And then the other two I primed. Bring them back into the shot. And I'll bring these up to the standard, the two at the back up to the standard off camera. And then the next video we look at, we'll start weathering these down straight away. So we'll be straight into it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like the channel, um, let us know and let us know what you want to see built on the channel. And I'll get some more videos up on things that people ask for. So um, probably won't get a video out tomorrow, being the weekend, but uh, definitely back into it Monday Monday. Um, 
and during the week, uh, many videos to come and a new project starting. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.